Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am away in Dubai right now. I'm diving offshore. Uh, they they told me that I was, you know, they, they emailed me on Christmas Eve and said, uh, we want to fly you on Christmas Day, please. And I was like, no. <laughs> so uh, they're flying me Boxing Day. So I left on Tuesday um, after Christmas. And right now I'm in Dubai working. So on this video, I won't be replying to comments. This is pre-recorded. I'm not at home. I will be home on the 17th of January, uh, that's definite, I'm sure I will be home on the 17th. Okay, uh, touch wood, <laughs> okay I shouldn't have said that but I, I should be, <laughs> and maybe I just jinxed myself but it should be. Anyway, um, this is a first impressions of a, a few mixed niche samples. So. I'm not going to be able to pronounce these names, I'm going to butcher them, I'm going to have the name up on screen. This particular one is called Le Mat. I will put the, it's from the Talisman series, I'll put the full description on the screen so you can see. And this is casual first impressions, don't take this too much in depth, I can only give a first impression here. Um, so the notes, black pepper, uh, rose, geranium, nutmeg. Again, rose, cashmere wood, cloves, immortelle, and patchouli. So, as a first impression, I have actually ordered the sample set from this particular house. I paid for it online from the official website myself. So when I get home from this trip, I will have the full sample set of this. Well, it's not the full uh, house, but I've got a, a selection of samples. Okay, hmm. I get a mix of the florals. Rose feels like the main floral, but you can smell the geranium. You definitely get a bit of the spice. Uh, hmm. There's something in it that I don't like. Maybe I'm not. I mean, I'm not a big fan of geranium personally. Um, and I think that's probably, mm, I think it's the geranium note that's putting me off. If you like geranium, I think you'll appreciate this one more than, more than I do. But the rose part of it is pretty. This smells more feminine to me. I think also, maybe it's the note of clove. I don't think it's a strong note, but I think it's influencing it a little bit into the territory of me not liking it. Because uh, when I was a, a kid growing up, when I had toothache, my mum would give me clove oil on a cotton wool bud and I would push it against my gum and it stinged so bad, like it was so painful. And, it, and the smell of clove has just stuck with me and I associate it straight away with toothache and pain. And I think you can notice the clove in here, mixed with the rose, the geranium, geranium and a little bit of spice. It smells more feminine, it's a little bit unusual and different, but not my personal taste because, uh, you know, I'm not a fan of that particular floral or that particular note, you know, clove isn't something that I uh, have good memories of, but uh, interesting. I am looking forward to testing out this house. The bottles are very artistic and a little bit unique and different. That always interests me when someone does something different with the presentation. I, I wonder if the scents are going to hold up against that. This one, um, hit and miss maybe. I don't think it's going to be... I, w I wouldn't say this is hugely mass appealing, let's put it that way. So you're going to have to have more of a, a specific taste to enjoy that one. Shaman by Brocard, I think, presumably. Uh, notes of Atlas Cedar, Geranium again, Mineral Accord, Patchouli, Rose, Benzoin, Grapefruit, Orange, Pepper and Vetiver. If anyone's interested where I bought these samples from, I'm not sponsored or paid and I don't get any kickbacks or anything, but I bought it from Bloom Perfumery in London. I, I get nothing for mentioning that, I'm just saying, you know, if you're in the UK and you want some niche samples, this is where I, I bought them from, is Bloom in London. Well, the main vibe that I'm getting is this kind of mineral accord. Hmm. Hmm. 
I get a little bit of the citrus of the grapefruit, but mainly this kind of mineral watery, fresh, clean. It doesn't particularly smell niche, if you know what I mean by that. Like this smells like it could be kind of an aquatic designer fragrance, to be honest. It doesn't smell... Although it's pleasant, I think it's actually a nice smell. It doesn't smell very niche, like I say. It smells more like kind of a, a very light, easygoing, fresh, aquatic, kind of more designer kind of fragrance in terms of its scent vibe. But it smells pleasant. I don't dislike that at all. Next, next one is... Oh my god, I can't pronounce this. Fawn... 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 So this is one, it's called Fawnny by Angela Campana. I have no idea how to pronounce these, sorry. Top notes of green leaves, uh, gardenia, frankincense, ylang ylang, amber musk, benzoin, and tolu balm. Hmm. Straight off the bat, I smell uh, benzoin. I smell sweet resin. I don't really get the green leaf. Uh, leaf? I don't get the green leaf. I don't get too much of the gardenia at the moment. Maybe that comes out more in the mid. Right now, all I am smelling is an amber accord and a lot of sweet kind of benzoin. Maybe a tiny little bit of frankincense. It's mainly this warm, sweet, resinous amber smell. Okay, there's not much I can describe as a first impression. This may be one that you have to wear on skin and let develop for the notes to come out properly. So not probably a good one for a first impression. I mean, it literally just smells of warm, sweet amber and it's very pleasant. I would have to see how that develops on skin. So I'll review that when I get home. The next one is called Dama Cooper by Baruti. Again, sorry I'm butchering these names. Notes of macaroons, iris, osmanthus, musk, amber, white woods, beeswax, and fur balsam. Woo, okay, whoa, woo, whoo. The first note that hits you is iris. This is a very, very thick, cosmetic smelling iris. It smells like, like lipstick, like a big, big chunk of lipstick. I don't think really I get much of the macaroons or the osmanthus, maybe a tiny bit of osmanthus. There is a little bit of the sweetness there, like a fruity kind of sweetness. I mean there's really not much to say other than it smells like lipstick, to be honest. The iris note is full centre stage shining right at you and it smells of lipstick. Uh, obviously, in my opinion, quite feminine. Again. Probably one you have to wear on skin and let the note shine through more as it develops I'm sure it doesn't smell like well it might do but hopefully maybe more of the other notes You know come through as it, as it dries down and changes a little bit So again, probably not quite brilliant for first impression uh, But Yeah, if there's a particular one there that you want me to review when I get home from Dubai Let me know and um, I'll I'll do that. I'll review them. Hope you enjoyed the video Again, I'm not going to be replying to comments, most likely, while I'm away. I'm back home on the 17th, I'll catch up then. Hope you all enjoyed a very happy new year. All the best to everybody. Um, if I have a new year's resolution, it's to take more chances and not have any regrets, because I, I sometimes have a chance in front of me and I, and I don't go for it, because I'm either scared or overthink things. My brain is my own worst enemy sometimes. I, I overthink and it stops me from doing what I want to do and then the, the opportunity's gone and I've, and I've missed it. So I want to stop doing that. I want to try and stop overthinking everything and when I want to do something, do it. That That's my New Year's resolution is to take more opportunity and chances. Um, let me know what your New Year's resolution is and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm home. Take care and bye-bye. See you in the next one.